Hi. Basically, the, uh, the, the same trash compactor that you all observed during the uh, functional test in building 17. And uh, we sent that back to Johnson Engineering with some comments from you and after our functional test. And they did uh, modifications in Colorado and they sent it back to us. And we're here today basically to demonstrate to you the, the modified version of it. This is the actual configuration as far as the storage provisions are concerned. So here's the, uh, the bag itself, which will get the trash. This is the bag itself and the uh, lid assembly. What we would like to do to go ahead and fill it out, this is dry trash, it's basically clean. So go ahead and fill it out. Now do you fill it up with it in there or do you fill it up just hold on to it outside it? This would be inside a, a beta cloth bag. Beta cloth back to Johnson Engineering for us designing at this point. <laughs> the reason we can't use the existing Aerospace. existing beta block bags because they're this is too big to fit in there. It contains the odor because it has actually the charcoal also has a, a one-way valve in it. and as well as Gore-Tex for, uh, uh, for uh, holding Soak. the... Uh, Soaks up water and takes out the odor and sure. Any bacteria that's generated from the trash inside the bag also. <coughs> Pull the handles out. Handles are marked right and left, so you won't confuse yourself. All right, Bob, which is your right and which yeah. is your left? Early <laughs> morning. This is the hardest part of this machine here, is figuring out. Okay, and uh, there's a legend here for uh, clarity. It says compaction when you read. There's some red and green arrows on the top and also down here. And then you're in retraction mode. So we make sure that the, uh, the ram is fully retracted to the back and we insert the flashback uh, back in here. Then we close the uh, door in the safety. And now we're ready to compact trash and compaction needs to be read so we should be changing the direction of all three levers inward as they are now. And if you do that, you should count the one take the 27, 28. Oh, you can count the number of strokes, the number of strokes here. Then as you compact and crash, you have resistance. That's when you get a good feel. And you can stop. Okay. Oh, if you lose count, it shouldn't matter though, right? No, you have to lose. At least you'll, you'll have an idea of where you're So you want to spring out, hit somebody in the face. So you change direction. You're going to have to unload it. You're going to have to unload it. Try for the exam. Put pressure back on it. Go back to the red. And then back to the red. Unload it. Now unload that. What they're, what they're doing is they're recommending it. Okay. Now you. So you back. 
back stroke about one or two to get the load off the door. And pull the pellet. Then you take now, the volume in. Well, no, it, it's absorbed into a filter on the other side. This, this, this is activated charcoal that's black to take out the odor. You shouldn't be able to smell anything. This is a one-way check valve left air and get out of the It's a water barrier that allows air to go through, but not water. The vortex on the back side of the filter makes it crack. I see. That's the water. Also, there's actually a little... Well, then, uh, late in the mission, we should put uh, some... Uh, like a can or something. Oh, yeah. Right now they're working. They're working in testing the bags of cold or fluid. drops of fluid on it was going to be disqualified from going down here. Now we've got this huge thing at the front end, intractable as it is, which uh, keeps your stuff bad enough to the car to turn the cork back. But one of the other things, you don't end up stopping here when you complete the mashing. You end up when you come to mechanical stop. Straps all the way out. Before you pull it out, it's like once the bag were.